Hi, welcome back to Facturetainment. This is our first episode of. Actually, I'm not gonna say it. I don't want to. I, I I don't want to say it. I, it's Enter the Gungeon. Random Fact Friday. Let's go. Fourth time I'm playing this game. It's a really fun game. Do you feel like a hot dog? I do feel like a hot dog. No, I feel more like a corn dog actually. Boiled in oil. Boiled <laughs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite Doge meme where it's like <laughs> boiled in oil. No, no, no. It's like bitches treat me like a hot dog. <laughs> they don't want my meat until it's breaded. And then like afterward, like below it, it's like a it's a deep fried version of it, uh, where it's like bitches don't bitches treat me like a corn dog boiled in oil, and then. <laughs> There's a third variant of it called like bitches don't want me I, bitches treat me like a corn dog. They put a stick up my ass. Oh yeah. I <laughs> Excuse me for fight. I'm kidding. No. Fuck it, sorry, one second. My That's ear's sorry. being weird. Have you told it not to be weird? No. Damn. Feels bad, man. Enter the Gungeon first came out, and then there was a slew of, like, dungeon-crawling bullet hell games. A little bit. And now we're, we're in an era of, um, what's the word, of, of vampire survivor games. Actually, now I'm thinking back to the first time we ever recorded a Random Fact Thursday, slash Friday, slash whatever we call it now. And remember how we did the setup originally? Yeah, like, I was in my car. Oh yeah, you were in your car, but like, also I had you on my phone. Like, I think this was, uh, what's the word? I think this was pre-Discord or something? Well, no, not pre-Discord, but like, uh, how do I put it? Okay, no, I mean, like, we did do the call over Discord, but, like, I feel like we were missing a lot of the creature comfort, uh, features of Discord for, like, Random Fact Friday. Uh, Maybe. Because I don't know for the life of me why, like, I, I was, uh, what's the word, um, how do I put it, uh, like on cocaine. No, why would I was on my phone? Like like had you on call on my phone and then using my computer's mic to pick you up. Yeah, that was a jank setup. Hi, I were live from my car in the garage. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Because my family's annoying. <laughs> yeah, earlier, like, that would be, sorry we're getting to recording really late. Yeah. Well, part of it was I was waiting on you to tell me when you were ready, which I need to stop doing. Uh, I... Uh, because you don't respond, you know, <laughs> respond. But part of it was also, I kept having to do things because... 
I just had to get all this stuff done today, apparently, from by others asking me to do it, even though I'm leaving tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, yeah, you need to mow the lawn and do weeding and all this stuff. I'm like, you should, why do I need to do this? And they're like, because it needs to be done. We're not going to do it. And I'm like, great. <laughs> Uh, what's the word? Uh, the reason why I don't necessarily, um, how do I put it? Uh, I, I usually, I, m not all the time, but most of the time, I do tell you when, like, I'm, like, good to go. Uh, I guess I just kind of space tonight. Because usually when I tell you I'm good to go, you're like, okay, cool, I just need to do a couple more things. And I'm like, okay, awesome. And then I just kind of wait for you, and then... Uh, eventually you usually get back to me around 9, and it's like, okay, I'm good to record now. And it's like, okay, cool. And then we record. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you do also know I hit the record button, right? Yeah. Okay, sorry. I... Uh, when a Kazakh athlete won a sharpshooting competition in 2012... The organizers of the event mistakenly played the parody national anthem from Borat. Oh no! And that would be pretty funny. Upon coming to the U.S. as part of Operation Paperclip, Werner Von Braun married his first cousin and moved to Alabama. What, what was Operation Paperclip exactly? That was when all the Nazis got brought into the United States. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Like, put in a lot of positions of science and power, yeah. Oh, Jesus. I... Why, why was it called Operate... Uh, just because, like, they were scientists and, like, papers and stuff? Why was it called Operation Paperclip? <laughs> So initially called Operation Overcut Class, it was renamed Operation Paperclip by Ordnance Corps officers who would attach paperclips to the folders of those rockets experts who they wished to transfer over from Nazi Germany to the United States. Uh huh. And that's the entire reason. Oh wow. Uh. The Abenaki word for white man, uh, Awanok, is a combination of the words Awini, meaning who, and Yuji, meaning from, uh, and thus the word white man literally translate, translates to, who is this man and where does he come from? I was expecting white white or something. Years before the upcoming Gladiator 2, Russell Crowe commissioned a script for a sequel in which Maximus goes to the afterlife and gets resurrected during World War II, the Vietnam War, <laughs> and ending with him in a suit and tie and modern day Pentagon. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Russell Crowe's kind of insane. What, what movies has Russell Crowe made exactly? What movies is Russ? I'll do Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe, more like Russell Ho, am I right? No, that was stupid. Alright, so Russell Crowe. Trying to look at like his filmography. Russell Crowe uh, debuted in the film Prisoners of the Sun, uh -huh. which is an Australian war drama. Then there's The Crossing, which is an Australian romantic drama. There's Proof, which is a comedy drama. Sports Sword, or Sportswood, is a business comedy drama 
There's Romper Stomper. I'm just going to start listening to all the names. Hammers Over the Anvil. The Silver Brumby. For the Moment. Love and Limbo. Some of Us. The Quick and the Dead. No Way Back. Virtuosity. So. Rough Magic. Ooh. LA Confidential. Heaven's Burning, Breaking Up, Mystery Alaska, The Insider, The Gladiator, Proof of Life, uh, A Beautiful Mind, Master and the, the Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World, Cinderella Man, A Good Year. Raw Boys, Blood is Thicker Than Water, 310 to Yuma, American Gangster, Body of Lies, Tenderness, State of Play, Robin Hood. Next Three Days, Man with the Iron Fists, Les Miserables, Broken City, uh, Man of Steel, Red Obsession, Winter's Tale, Noah, The Water Diviner, Fathers and Daughters, The Nice Guys, War Machine, The Mummy, Turtle Odyssey, uh, Boy Erased, True History of the Kelly Gang, Unhinged, Zack Schneider's Justice League, Thor Love and Thunder, Prize Fighter, the greatest beer run ever. Poker face. The Pope's Exor Exorcist. Land of Bad. Sleeping Dogs. The Exorcism. Craven the Hunter. Nuremberg. And he was... Also, in Spy Force, The Young Doctors, Rafferty's Rules, Neighbors, Brides of Christ, Acropolis Now, uh, Police Rescue, Color of War, South Side Story, Republic of Doyle, uh, Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, uh, loudest Voice, Take Us Home, Arc, the Animated Series. Huh. So, I I virtually do not know any of... Oh, oh, I, I know a few of those uh, shows and stuff. And uh, movies, but I am virtually clueless about almost everything else. And just to make sure, Gladiator is the one where he yells, like, Are you not entertained? Yes. Okay, cool. That's such a fun line. I. Uh. The most divorced person ever of monogamous marriages was Baptist. Was a Baptist minister. He had married 31 times. Uh, because he spoke their language and only five marriages uh, end by death of the, of the spouse. Huh. Martha Mitchell affected... The Martha Mitchell effect occurs when a medical professional labels a patient's accurate perception of real events as delusional, resulting in misdiagnosis. That's fucked up. In his autobiographical account of the taking on monopolies, Roosevelt recounted, we had come to the stage where our people, where for our people what was needed was a real democracy and all forms of tyranny, the least attractive and the most vulgar is the tyranny of mere wealth, the tyranny of a plutocracy. Beethoven continued to compose music even after he went completely deaf. He used vibrations from the piano to hear his compositions. 
Walmart is the world's largest company by revenue. Uh, the Jeffersonians sought to align American economy more with agriculture than industry. Part of their motive would do so was Jefferson's fear of the over-industrialization of America would create a class of wage slaves who relied on their employees for income and sustenance. Hmm. Well, Jefferson was an asshole. Pierce, he was right about that. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Jefferson... Broken, broken clock's right twice, I guess. I guess, I, yeah, yeah, you're right, I can't, I... It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't still excuse him from being just the absolute worst, but... <coughs> I am a man with a shotgun. Uh, a 2011 study uh, from UC Berkeley found that Mercedes and B&W drivers were nearly five times as likely to cut off others compared to other drivers in non-luxury cars. Hmm. Uh, a 2019 study found that drivers of lifted F Ford F-150s are the most likely to blind people on the road with their high beams. <laughs> uh, I also have some statistics real fast. Uh, owners of Cybertrucks are 100% virgins. Owners of sour trucks are 100% more likely to get their fingers cut off in their own <laughs> car. <laughs> oh, God, the. Owners of sour trucks are 100% or 400% more likely to uh, be trapped in their cars after it rains because the cyber truck system shut off when it gets wet. <laughs> and because there's no way to open the vehicle. <laughs> Either from the outside or the inside, and let because everything's a fucking touchpad. Everything's a touchpad. I'm an angel with a touchpad working. To I don't know what I'm saying. Adolf Hitler was worried Kilroy was the coding of a high-level Allied spy, and Stalin was terrified that when he found Kilroy was here written in the VIP bathroom, the first modern instance of a meme as counterintelligence. That's kind of funny. Anyway, this has been Random Fact Friday. Or random whatever. Fa random Fact. Sucking your dick until you explode.